So there have been persistent differences noted in the outcomes or the management of women as compared to men with many, many cardiovascular conditions, be it heart attacks, be it strokes, be it interventional procedures, be it diagnostic procedures. So the question we asked was, in older adults, so which is defined as typically adults over the age of 75, do these disparities persist? Do older women get treated less often and do far worse than older men, as has been noted in many other populations for heart disease? Hello, my name is Dr. Saras Chandra Vallabhajosila and I am a general cardiology fellow at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here to discuss on behalf of my co-authors our study entitled Sex and Gender Disparities in the Management and Outcomes of Acute MI Cardiogenic Shock in Older Adults. So we used a database called the National Inpatient Sample, which is a representative database of almost all hospital admissions that happen in the United States and is maintained by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. We looked over a 15-year period between 2000 and 2014 of all hospital admissions for acute MI that was complicated by cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock is a state of low flow of the heart, primarily due to heart muscle being affected from a heart attack or an acute myocardial infarction. So in patients with, this, with cardiogenic shock, our next question was, do all of them do similarly or do older women do worse? So we identified about 134, 500 admissions with cardiogenic shock all across the country in this period of time, of which 48% were men, 52% were women. And we noted that women received less frequent guideline-directed therapy, be it coronary angiography, be it PCI, or be it circulatory support. They had significantly worse mortality. Despite adjusting for all known risk factors, these women did far worse, be it um, in hospital mortality or in hospital issues such as length of stay, resource utilization. You will see the full results in our text. I'm not going to belabor the point. But the question is, why is that? Now, it's very interesting that in patients with acute MI, women are frequently undertreated. They, their symptoms are less typical. And so they're often not considered to have, be having an acute MI. Their uh, family support and social support is much lower than that of men. And so therefore, they have some issues with rehabilitation and post-procedural post -procedural or post-hospitalization care. Um, sometimes families that, who, that make decisions for women on their behalf tend to be less aggressive. These are very uh, interesting dynamics where age interacts with race, interacts with sex, and we come up with this complex interplay of social, demographic, motivations that are independent of the disease process. Cardiogenic shock has a very poor survival rate. Nearly 30 to 40 percent of these patients continue to die at the time of their hospital visit. Unfortunately, we made a lot of progress in this field, but these rates still leave a lot to be achieved. Controlling for easily accommodable, accommodatable variables such as sex, race, uh, age should be our immediate next priority. These are low-hanging fruit and present obvious disparities that can be addressed to provide equitable care to our complex patient population. Thank you for taking the time out to read our study and we hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.